Aloha, Rich Alverson here. This is uh, ITS 148. And uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, go over and get you started on lab 13.9 in the inheritance chapter of the lab plant information. So let me share my screen. All right, so here we are. And uh, so in this one, uh, we are uh, supposed to, uh, we're, we're given a plant class and a derived class from the plant class called flower. And we're supposed to write a, a program which creates a list and it stores objects in the list uh, of either class. And then we're also supposed to create a function called print list, which prints, which prints them out. Which prints out the the uh, the, uh, the list. So, for example, um, uh, this also defines how we're going to input the list. Uh, it's going to be a one line per plant, and the first uh, first field or the first string is going to define whether it's a plant or a flower. And then it's going to give the name of the plant or flower. And then it's going to give um, uh, whatever the third, whatever the third value is. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's the cost. Okay. Should it say cost? Anyway. Uh, so, so here we're in inputting a plant, a flower, a flower, and a plant. And we're going to output a plant a plant, uh, and this is a flower, but it still says plant, uh, a flower and then a plant. Uh, flowers have have uh, two more uh, attributes uh, uh, specifying properties, specifying whether they're annual or not, and um, the color. All right, so, um, so let's get started with this. And and I'm going to do sort of a stepwise refinement where I'm going to, uh, um, you know, submit a bunch of times uh, and, and see and, and uh, just, you know, add a little bit at a time and submit and see how how close I get to um, to getting all the points. All right. Um, so I tell you what, I'm just going to start out here by clicking submit, <clears throat> see what my score is. All right, obviously it's zero and oh, no, no, no output uh, was produced. Uh, but and it shows which, what the tests are. Um, all right, so, um, so let's go through this. Um, first, we define a, a class called plant and it's got two properties. Uh, and then it's got this print info method, which prints out the plant name and the cost. And then we have another uh, class called flower, which is derived from plant. And it's got the two uh, parameters here for uh, plant, but then it also has this the other two, the, the is annual and the color. And so the first thing it does is it creates an instance of the plant, or it defines it, starts with the instance of, of the plant my uh, class, uh, you know, first execute the, the initialization method from the plant class, but then also uh, add the value, the, the parameter uh, for whether or not it's annual and the color. And then the print info is different. So when we're print, when we're using the print info method for a flower, we get uh, this one, and if it's just for a plant that's not a flower, it's going to be this one. All right, so the first thing it says to do is define the print list function. Well, we can't have a, we, we can't print anything until we have something to print. So let's see what's next here. Declare a list called my garden. Um, let's, let's put off, let's uh, wait on that because really we just have to produce some output. Uh, let's see, we're going to read in. We're going to read in uh, this plant information, and then we're going to have a loop here. And the first thing is check to see if it's a plant or a flower. Well, the first thing we have to do 
is to split it up into some sort of tokens or something. So, uh, so I'm going to say tokens equals, no, how does this work? Oh, yes, user string equals user string. That's this thing up here, uh, split. And it's going to split on a space because we, we uh, it's, the operands are separated by space, 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 space. So we don't have to put anything in as an argument to the split method. Uh, and then uh, we're going to see, see if uh, token zero is whether it's a plant or flower, right? Yeah, plant, flower, flower, plant. Okay, so uh, so the first one is plant. Okay, got it. So token um, if if um, token tokens uh, zero equals plant, then we're going to do something. We're going to uh, say that the plant name, we're going to, we're going to, um, uh, let's see, the token one is the plant name and token two is the plant cost. So we can go something like um, uh, create a new instance of a, of a plant, because this is a plant, equals, uh, to create a new instance of the plant, we call the plant class um, method, which creates an uh, initialization method. And uh, the uh, plant name is the, um, is the first argument, tokens uh, one. And the third are the second argument is the cost tokens of two. So that creates the instance, an instance of the plant. Plant name plant cost. And it comes in as it comes in as plant name, plant cost flower name, flower cost, and then false and the, the third and the fourth one. Okay, so that's that's how you that's how we create an instance of my plant. And I tell you what, just for fun, let's just print print out my plant. My plant dot print info. Uh, okay, great. Oh, well, wait a minute now. This check if it's a plant or a flower is really. Oh. Okay, we're we've just done like all of this. Um, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put off this adding list to my garden first. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I have to do an LF, E-L-I-F, uh, tokens of zero equals flower. We've got to take care of that case. And for that, it's my flower equals flower flower of tokens one, tokens two, tokens three, tokens four. I'm being lazy. I really, You really should name these. You should have separate variable names and stuff. I'm just lazy. Three, four. I like, I'm a minimalist. Okay, so that should create uh, a new instance a new object, a new flower object called my flower. 
And let's go ahead and print that also. My flower uh, dot print info. Info. And then uh, let's let's put off. Let's do this later. Uh, and then after, so then after that, then we're going to read a new one, and it does it until it's done. And then here we print out. Okay, let's just see what this looks like. Submit for grading. Still only got zero out of ten, but what did we miss out? Oh, we we didn't put these titles. <clears throat> we did have the rest of the info. We don't have the titles. Should, though there should be a space above each title. Hmm. Well, let's try to put those title thingies in there, okay? It looks like it just starts, it just goes one, two, three, four, plant, plant one, plant two, plant, okay, so let's just print that out at the top here. Um, okay, so we read in and then we check to see if it's a if it's a plant or a flower, if it if it's a plant, uh, okay. Let's make a. Um, this is the loop. This is the loop. So let's have a i equals zero, and let's have a right here. You know, right before print info, print uh, plant. Wait a minute. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to increment i first, i plus 1. I'm going to increment i. Then I'm going to go um, plant, comma, i, comma. What is it supposed to say? Information. Information. Plant information. Is that what both of them are? No matter what. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just put this. Copy. Let's also put this after, just before the my flower print info, like right here. Okay, let's submit this for grading. <clears throat> Still got zero out of 10, but uh, oh, I'm missing a colon after information. And oh, it wants a space, it wants a space After the last one, I guess. Oh yeah, after the last one. It wants the space after the uh, after the cost is uh, after the record is printed. It looks like it, they want a space after the record is printed. So let's um oh okay, let's put that in there. Um oh but better put a colon, colon, and a colon. And uh, after print info, I'm gonna just print a space. And I just do it here too. I guess it's lazy. All right, let's see what this looks like now. Oh, gotta press this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got 10 out of 10? Well, uh, I guess uh, you can just say, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and, uh, oh, this print list thing, forget that. I just, I got all the points anyway. Uh, so what you should, the purpose of this is was the print list thing. So really what you should do is you should, um, well, I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope this helps for 13.9. Uh, Thanks for watching.